Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana and today I have a special guest, just a visitor around here. Uh, today I prepare a session for you for those who are suffering from sciatica nerve. It's a nerve that goes from the lower back all the way uh, behind the knee. A lot of people suffer from that due to stiffness on the feet and on the glutes. So today we're just gonna decompress the feet and do a little stretch for the lower back and hamstrings. So starting sitting in a comfortable position and I want you to find your feet by some pressure with your thumbs. So pushing hard on your feet, just decompressing there. If there's tension on the feet, most probably you will have tension on that lower back. So just press a little bit, just a couple of seconds on one foot, decompressing. Remember your foot has muscles as well that is connected all the way to your legs, all the way to the lower back. So just decompress those feet release the tension it's way nicer when someone else does it for you but go for it just push a little bit more with the thumbs before we start towards the stretches and release it okay so now you're going to be laying down a lot of people love this posture it's called the four position laying down really nice and comfortable for the lower back and for the sciatica nerve this is great you can do it in a hard surface like i'm doing it in the mat or in your bed if you are just waking up that's completely fine bring the right foot on top of the left knee interlacing the hands try to bring the left knee towards your chest and if this is your maximum length just grab behind the knee and pull that knee towards you be careful with the neck most of the people reaching the leg will do this with the neck bring the shoulders down to the floor and keep pulling that left knee to the chest feel the stretch on the right glute if you can, you could just go a little bit higher on top of your knee, keep pulling that knee towards your chest, feel a deeper stretch and release it. Let's go for the other one. Left foot on top of the right knee and bring the right knee towards the chest. Really nice and comfortable. If you can, go straight away towards the knee or underneath the knee, whatever you prefer. Keep pulling that knee to the chest. Feel the stretch on the left glute. This is so great for that sciatica, stretching gently release it. Now bring the feet down on the floor, make sure your fingertips can touch the ankles and just let the knees drop from one side to the other. You can go into your own rhythm, you can do it fast if you can, like this, if your body is asking you to do so, or go slowly and stay here for a while, feel the stretch, maybe around the thigh, maybe around the lower back, go to the other side, so do as your body feels. Try to relax the shoulders always. You will notice if the shoulders are tensing, your neck will be doing this. Your chin will be facing up to the sky. If your shoulders are relaxed, your chin will be dropping towards your chest. And release it. Wherever you are, bring the feet up to the sky, going into happy baby. This is really great for that lower back. Knees down to the floor. You can lift the head this time, kind of looking at your coccyx, staying there, stretch that back stretching that lower back this is our aim and release it bring the feet together into butterfly pose laying down there is going to be a normal arch on that lower back keep it like that it's completely fine it's completely normal hands on top of the thighs to push this those knees a bit more couple of seconds there and release it knees together Turn into one side of your body. I recommend you to stand up this way rather than standing up like in a crunch. We're gonna go into or fours, four positions. So hands on the floor, knees on the floor, pointing your toes, gentle cat cow pose, giving some movement to that back. On your exhalation, you look to the navel. On your inhalation, you look up to the sky. Exhalation to the navel inhalation to the sky move the lower back tucking the tummy in inhalation to the sky one more time exhale release it let's go for a child pose we're gonna finish in a nice gentle child pose bringing your toes together knees open chest down chin down to the floor if your body allows now be careful with that lower back if your lower back is rounding and it's here try to stretch it looking forward looking at the end of the mat so stay there chin or forehead to the floor whatever you prefer 
feel extension on that back. Keep breathing there. Stretch that back. This is great. Three more deep breaths there. You're going to finish with this position. If you want to stay longer here, you can. This is just a simple, easy routine. To give some mobility to the lower back and some stretch as well. To release the tension on the sciatica nerve. When you're ready, inhale, look forward. Release it. You can stay in your child pose as long as you need to. If you're just standing up and finishing this little routine, I want to thank you for being here today in your mat, for taking care of your body. And keep moving, keep stretching those hamstrings, that back, that's gonna help you so much for the sciatica nerve. Remember, muscles and nerves, they are able to stretch. So give it some love. Try to do this practice every day and you will see the difference in a couple of days. One week, I guarantee you, if you have a sciatica problem and you do this little routine, few minutes a day, uh, it's gonna change. Have a beautiful day, everyone, and see you next week. Assis, 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 bien, bien joué. Couché, 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 Costouk, couché, voilà, couché, on se couche, voilà, voilà.